So I wanted to talk about um, the early days of Eight Values and why and how I decided to go full time on it. Now, if you see the website now, um, I think it'll probably look like this once you get there. Um, right now, it looks like this, but um, I just began building Eight Values on November the tenth, uh, twenty twenty two. Uh, right now it is July 6th, 2023. Um, so maybe like half a year ago. Um, that's when I made my very first commit to the repo. Um, it started off as like a view, uh, Phoenix app. Um, it had a backend and everything. And after a while, um, we've now reduced it down to just one Nuxt uh, code base. But I was kind of obsessed with seeing this product um, out there. It is, I think, it the first kind of job board that really marries uh, video and like a job board together. I remember so when I had first had this idea, I actually told um, the some of the bigger like job boards um, in my space uh, about my idea. I said, hey, you should do this. Um, this is a really good idea. I think it's going to work. Um, here are all the reasons why. And um, what I was told was this person didn't want to do it personally, uh, because they, I don't think they wanted to do the work or they didn't want to be on camera. Um, I think there was definitely a fear around that. Um, and so they asked me if I wanted to work for them. And for me, like that really wasn't, um, something I wanted to do. And so, um, I built a very like, I don't know, prototype, like kind of crap version of the website and I actually quit my job. Now, if you're like somebody that's looking to build a business, I really wouldn't recommend this route. Um, but here are some of the reasons why I did it. So I loved my job and the people I worked with. Um, I had grown a lot in the two years. I was a software engineer there. Um, I had some great mentors and I really liked the team. But I felt like I wanted to challenge myself after two years um, in the same code base. Uh, I had been, I got really comfortable in that code base. And like, I was really comfortable with the develop per work, but I really wanted to expand out to different kinds of problems to solve, right? So with eight values, I do all the sales, all the marketing, all the design, all the development work. And like, that's an awesome place to be for me personally. Um, I feel like I'm using um, as much creativity and problem solving um, as I can right now. And like, of course, like this isn't like a super successful product yet, right? Um, there are still a lot of problems to solve um, going down the road, but um, the fact that I get to be creative and like have full autonomy over this stuff is, I know, such a blessing for me. Um, I really, really enjoy it. Now, my goal for the business um, was, like, I, of course, like people have, like, I don't know, like, I think two stories, right, um, for most businesses. One is, like, the, the marketing story, right, like the founder story, you know. Uh, I think, like, um, hey, like, I was doing this, and like, I saw this, and like, this is why I'm building it, right? But there's also, like, a personal story, I think, for most founders. And for me, like, I wanted to create a business where I could be challenged every day. Um, and to kind of have a medium to live out my values. Um, honestly, it's just courage, hard work, a certain kind of doggedness that I wanted to be able to use. And I think for most jobs and most companies, like it's really hard to have that because you have bosses who are paid to do a certain kind of task. And it's quite, um, I don't know, I guess it can get repetitive after a few years if you know how to do it. And like, so the financial situation I was in was I had some, I think, savings um, and a, I felt that this business would make money. Um, like it was a bit of a foregone conclusion for me. Um, although I really wouldn't do that for um, most businesses and it's still yet unclear uh, for eight values if this is going to be a huge success or not. But I don't know. I don't hate working. Um, and so I thought that if my run rate my um, runway would run out, then I would just find another job. Um, so like, I, I don't dislike working and like, this is the kind of business that can be run forever. 
um, even if you are uh, working full time. And so um, that's just a consideration. Um, also, the fact that I was a software engineer with some marketable skills was a big deal for me because if I do run out of runway, like I can always get another job, right? And so that was a part of the consideration for sure. Um, but this business is going to be around for forever, basically, um, because it's it's what I call like a cockroach business. Like it costs nothing to run, and it's just it can be exist forever. Now, um, one of the big milestones for Eight Values was that I got my first customer on February fourteenth uh, of la- of this year, um, and that was the previous company that I worked at. Um, I got my first client because uh, I had a good relationship with the team uh, and the CEO was very supportive of me um, building this business. And so they decided to come on. um, And that was a big deal for me. The second client that I had was through a friend of mine who um, was a mentor at that company for me. And he convinced his company to take on um, Eight Values as a customer. Now, I think this business had been like, or this product could have been released in maybe January, but I ended up releasing it in March. Um, and so this is, I had finished it in two months of just developing, and then I had it under like basic authentication <laughs> uh, for another two months, but only because it was just scary um, to release it to the public. I didn't want to like, I don't know, seem incompetent, you know, like I didn't really like think I was building a business really. I was just like, Hey, this is a fun project of mine, you know, just so that like, I don't know, like if it failed, you know, like I could just say it was a project, but like I was really building a business, but I just didn't want to admit that to myself. And honestly, like once I released it to the public, it was honestly like none of my fears were realized. Um, nobody was laughing at me. Uh, I didn't seem incompetent or anything like that. Um, but that was because nobody was coming. And so like, hey, like the fact that nobody came um, is a different kind of problem, right? But it's not the problem that I I had feared um, was going to happen. It was just, hey, nobody's coming to your website. Like, you know, and so like if you're scared about like releasing stuff, like chances are nobody's going to come anyway. So don't worry about it. I think is maybe the lesson here. Um, And so that is kind of the um, early days and going full time on eight values. Um. Yeah, so I think another consideration for sure, um, or the biggest one for most people going full time on their uh, businesses is like the runway and the, I don't know, the alternative, right? And like for me, like I like working and like I could always find another job. And so that's was, was a huge consideration. I had enough uh, runway, I think maybe like half a year to a year. Um, and honestly, I could have, I could stretch that out if, like I just change some like kind of expenses that I have, but like really it's, it all, it all, this thing costs me about $300 to run a month. So like, it's basically nothing. Um, it really is a cheap, cheap business to run. And I think one of the big things of why I started was to be able to solve a bunch of different kinds of problems. Right. And which means that I do all of the work for it. And so I get to learn um, a bunch of different things like sales and marketing. And like, I'm not, I'm not going to hire this out to anybody um, just because I don't really care about the end goal so much as like just being able to do this work myself and like learning about new stuff. And so that's why like a part of my costs are just really, really low. Um, and it's also a job board, right? So like, it's like, we're not holding uh, like real product, right? Like I used to work in D to C e-commerce and like for that, like, we were holding like products and like we had inventory and the inventory had like expiration dates and stuff like this. And like, that's a brutal business to be in. Um, a job board is not a brutal business to be in. It's like an easy business to be in. Um, it's basically a distribution center, right? If you really think about it, it's a bunch of SEO connected to forms. Like it's, if you wanted to reduce it down to something like that, um, am I happy that I went full time on it? Yeah, honestly. Um, like I told you the the personal goal of mine was to have some medium to just live out my values and like that's what it's become um and like I love that as like something 
that's a part of my life. Um, would I have done anything differently? Um, I think maybe like working on it while, like as a side on the side while working full time, like might have been a better financial decision. You know, like like you'll quit your job once you have some revenue and like once you are quite secure in the fact that it's going to do well. But um, for me, like I don't know. I think work should be subordinate to like other things that are more important to you in your life. And like, if being challenged is a, is an important part of your life, then like, why not? Right. Um, especially if like you do have some sort of safety net, like, Hey, like I can always get another job or Hey, like, you know, like I know I have some savings or stuff like this. Like this is like quite important as a consideration, but, um, yeah, I think the, some of the early lessons for me was that like, if you're going to start a business, I think you should really be enthusiastic about it. Like the enthusiasm really matters. Um, because I think a lot of people like will not really believe in your idea or like, will probably think like, who the hell are you to start a business? Right? Like at least for, for eight values, I remember like telling people about this idea and like the people that were in the industry, like kind of liked it for sure. Like, like I said, like one of the, my, like the big players in the space, at least, um, said that they wanted me to work for them, right? And so that's a good sign at the very least. But other people would just laugh. I'm like, oh, dude, who would want to watch videos, right? And like, maybe that is true. Um, but I think it's awesome. And so like, who cares what other people think? Um, so like uh, self-belief and enthusiasm is probably the most important thing in the early stages because like your version one is not going to be the end product, right? You just need to have enough enthusiasm to get into the game and then I don't know, enough self-belief to stay in it. Enough so you can like I don't know, iterate on whatever um, problems you're trying to solve. And I think like that would be some of I don't know, my big learning so far. Um, also, you'll find a lot of people that want to make money off of you. Um, is definitely something else. Um, as soon as you put founder or like CEO in your uh, profile, then you open the floodgates for people that smell money and they want to like, I don't know, have a way to make money off of you. And so I would just be careful. Um, you don't really need to buy everything that's being sold to you. Um, in fact, for me, like a part of the reason I, I built it, uh, eight values was because I want to solve different kinds of problems, right? So I'm kind of impervious to these kinds of sales things. But um, I do have a way I learn um, these skills. I like for sales and marketing, let's say, like I think a big part of learning how to do marketing at least was hiring somebody um, or like hiring somebody for like an hour just to teach you how to do like I don't know, keyword research and like looking at like uh, SERPs and stuff like this. Um, it's just a good way to get a version one of an image of what you're supposed to do in this area. And then after that, you can just run with it, right? Because there are like so many resources online and everywhere where like you can just learn it. And like your your version one, by the way, is going to be shit. Like mine was shit. Everyone's going to be shit. Um, but that's okay because your version one, like the purpose of it is basically to get over your fear of releasing stuff. And as soon as you do that, you're in the game. And once you're in the game, the question isn't like, oh, should I release it or not? It becomes like, how do I make this much, much better? And like, once you're in that like creative, like problem solving space, like you'll learn enough to make it good. And so your V1 can be shit because the whole purpose of it is to get over the fear of releasing stuff. And so you want to get to that space quickly. I wish I released my product earlier. Honestly, um, instead of four months, I wish I released it in one um, because... I don't know. I didn't do it because I was just scared, and the the fear space really has no, no learnings. It's just like being anonymous and like deceiving yourself about all the things that it can be, right? And then once you release it, like there's like concrete feedback and there's a concrete idea of what that thing is, and like there's no bullshitting yourself about that, right? And so, like I think being like passive or like scared, or, like that's like kind of like, I don't know, not a good place to be in. Um, I sh hesitate to say it, but like, 
losers thrive there, right? They're just, oh man, like I have an awesome idea. Like it can be this, this, this. And like, since there's no feedback, no real world consequences, you can say whatever you want there. And then like, I'm pretty sure like if there are such a thing as a winner, like they don't hide behind unreleased things. That's what I would say, I think. Um, and like, look, like even if it doesn't go that well, like at least you'll learn a lot. And like, at least for me, like it's a big deal to live out my values in a way where I'm not scared about this kind of thing. And so like, it's been a wonderful, like just change for me. Um, yeah. Um, but that's, so that's, I guess my piece on going full time and the early days of a values. Um, thanks for listening.